Hello, this is Roger. Welcome to another Photoshop Island tutorial. I love these buttons on the GoToMeeting site, so I wanted to do a quick demo of how I would go about replicating a button that looked just like this. So first I'm going to use the Shape Layer tool and I'm going to drop me out a uh, rectangular shape with rounded corners and I'm going to use that as my base. I'm going to move that to the side just a little bit so that I can see the button that I want to uh, make a, a duplicate of. Got my layers out here yeah. and I'm going to put a layer style on here with a gradient overlay. Now this is great since I have something I want to replicate I can use the original colors right from the button. So I'm going to sample something here at the top and uh, I'm going to swap these colors around. There, there we go. Then we'll s grab something down here right towards the bottom. So now we've got our base gradient here. And then I'm going to drop something in the middle because I need this darker area in the middle. So I sample that. And now I've got my base. You can kind of see how I've got that base color laid in. Next I'm going to put a stroke on here. This will be to replicate the um, the uh, white stroke that you see on the outside of the button. Now I, I noticed that my rectangle, the corners on my uh, rectangle are a little too rounded. So I'm going to change that. You can see up here in the radius, I'm going to swap it from 12 pixels to 6 pixels. And I'm just, I'm going to move the button that I started with and I'm going to redraw that so that I can get those uh, corners a little more accurate. So we'll drop that in. Now we have it more accurate. And uh, Photoshop was kind enough to remember the styles that we were already working with. So we don't have to go back and do that. Or we could just copy the uh, effects up onto the layer if that didn't copy for us. And I'm going to switch that stroke to white. Now I've got the outer stroke for my uh, button couple pixels on that. Next I'm going to um, lay a uh, slight inner glow. If you'll notice the um, the sample that we're looking at has actually a, a little bit of a dark, uh, just a little dark inner shadow to it. I'm actually just going to sample that and try to replicate that slight inner glow there. Need to increase that to maybe about um, Oh, nine pixels. Kind of play with the the choke and the the size a little bit to get it to um, match what what we're seeing. Uh, maybe a little bit darker color will help as well. There we go. That's getting us pretty close. Just a couple pixels. It just didn't have quite dark enough color. And you can see that I I changed that to darken from the default setting. I'm going to get rid of. Um, Going to hide that button before, and then this is going to be the for the uh, stroke outside. There's a light, uh, light gray stroke. Now what I've done is I'm going to replicate a layer below the layer, and then I'm going to make that layer uh, uh, have a slightly wider stroke so that it will stick out beyond. So now what we've got is two layers. Our button shape now is uh, a, a top layer, and then the outer light gray stroke is a, a second layer that is behind the first layer and you can see the top two layers here. Put a little drop shadow on that second layer to match again I think it's a very subtle light shadow so we're gonna make that fairly light to uh, match what we're seeing there and I didn't use the the global uh, light source I swapped it out to again match more what was there so that looks pretty good. We're pretty close there. Now this next part, um, unfortunately there's not a super easy way to do this. Uh, so I'm just going to do this uh, the way that um, I think is probably the easiest that I can come up with. Just going to draw another uh, shape layer and we'll get rid of all the effects. We don't need those for this. and. Uh, what we need to do is just manipulate this shape to represent the highlight on the top part of the button. Now I'm not going to finesse this perfectly. You could do a lot of finessing. And uh, here I'm going to just take the the points out and we'll convert those points to straight lines so that it'll be nice and straight. 
And then let's see if we can get this um, vector layer lined up so that uh, it matches the um, location of the way that it is on the um, example. So we get this kind of down here. It's about halfway down the um, the shape of the button, which would, if it was uh, three dimensional, then you would get that uh, get that sense. I need to stretch this out just a little bit to uh, make the width, and, and that's probably not going to work out because now I've got to scooch this down. Now we can get the width right. Just tweak that in, and again, you could. You know, I could spend some more time rounding those corners to match that a little bit better, but this gives you the general idea. I'm going to set the fill to that on white, and I'm going to change the opacity to uh, match something close to what I'm seeing in our example. Now, there would be another way. We could, we could put a gradient overlay in this uh, shape layer also. That would be another way to go about it. But um, I think that, that kind of uh, gets us pretty dang close. Um, again, I could round those corners a little bit better and uh, work on that shape a little bit if I wanted it to all um, match out perfectly. But uh, this will this will get you a good idea. And, and once you kind of see how this works, you obviously could make your own colors and variations of this. This is just to give you an idea. Now let's drop the type on top of here. And this is an example for a friend of mine, Josh. So I'm just going to type his name. And we'll put some white type in there. I need to move that up to the top layer so that we can see it. And we'll get it a little bit bigger, get it close to the correct size, I guess if we're trying to, to match what we're seeing. And then we, we need to uh, add a drop shadow to it so we can again match our uh, style. I'm just going to swipe this drop shadow from another layer and then go back in and uh, adjust it. It's, uh, a much lighter, smaller uh, drop shadow than the one that I took it from, but it got me close. And um, there we go. I, I think we've got a great, great looking button. Love the look of this button. And by the way, uh, stop by Photoshop Island and pick up a uh, free copy of this button as a layered Photoshop file with all the layers intact as you see that I made it and then you can go in and play with this and make your own button, uh, change the colors and if you want to do some other refinements and, and change it out completely uh, it'll be there. Uh, take a look at it. PhotoshopIsland.com Don't forget we have lots of other freebies at PhotoshopIsland.com as well as some great products. I'd appreciate it if you take a look at the products while you're there too. So Thanks for stopping by for this tutorial. Until next time, we'll see you at Photoshop Island.